So what I thought I would introduce now is um, actually by request the goal repetition induction technique. So um, this comes from Stephen Gilligan. And um, it's a little different than the way Stephen does it. Um, uh, as you'll know from the title, he does just the goal repetition induction technique. Um, we kind of change it up a little bit. But this one feels like a double induction with your client. It's like jazz. And it's cool. So, the best way to teach you this is to show it. All right? So who has a goal and would like to do this and be willing to be on camera? So what goal would you like to play with? My goal that I would like to play with is to take all of this and have a successful business and everything that comes with that. OK. So the goal, as stated, is to take all this and weave it into a successful business and all that goes with that. Now, when you're doing that, how's that going to be for you? It's going to be a relief. Relief. Sense of accomplishment. Sense of accomplishment. Aye. OK, I can read it. That's all that matters. Go ahead. Uh, recognition. And when you have this successful business and you're feeling that sense of accomplishment, what will that do for you? It's just going to make me feel like I've, I feel really good, like I've, I'm finally doing what I want to do with my life. It feels, um, feels like I've arrived. And when you're doing what you want to do with your life and you feel like you've arrived and you have that sense of accomplishment, what will having all that really do for you? What will it do for me yeah. physically? I or? mean, on any level. It will make me, um, make me sound cheesy, make me feel happy, happier. <laughs> that doesn't sound cheesy. We all <laughs> want to feel happy. <laughs> you didn't say it would make me connect with my angels so that we can, you know. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I love your angels. I feel happy. I feel satisfied. Happy, satisfied. Yeah. I'm trying to keep the story out of it, so yeah. No, happy. no, you don't have so to I keep. I don't have to keep the story as, out as long it. as the story is about yeah. what you want. What I want is it's been it's been a long time in the making. Yeah. And this is the this is I'm reaching the the peak now, the apex, and I just want to be there, to get it done, kind of thing. Apex, long time coming. Yeah. So when you finally have it, it's going to feel like. Oh, just yes. a relief and a sense of achievement and accomplishment and just moving into a new career. I'm leaving an old career behind. And so. when you have this new career, yeah. who will you be as a person? A fulfilled, whole. Fulfilled. Whole, fulfilled. And this new career, right? I mean, let's let's go back to the... Let's go back to the, what's great about this new career? Like, why do you want to do this? Why do I want to do this? I'm really interested in how people's brains work. I'm interested in language. Mm -hmm. um, and and I, I want to help people. Um, I'm interested in altered states, trans, um, through history. So when you say interested, so you're really enthusiastic, enthusiastic. or? Enthusiastic about it. Okay. I want to learn more, want to keep learning. All right. Now, what I am doing is looking for hot words, words that light her up, words that say so much more about what she really wants than I want a successful business. You see, because certain, you need to really get to the 
you know, the, the thick of it. Like, what will this do for you? How will you feel? Right? Who will you be as a person? You know, what's essential about this? That's the kind of questions you ask. Now, here's the work. Hang on, I've got one more. Yeah, <laughs> please. I feel like I will be an adult. Not in a grown-up, like, grown-up boring. I'm a grown-up Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Because I'm always going to be a kid at home. Yeah, yeah. But it will be the job that I've had, the one that I'm leaving behind. Seems like it was an extension of my teenage a punk rock, right? Mm -hmm. Rock and roll. So I feel like I'm coming into myself, my true self. Mm. And that's really key. Yeah, it's, it's an evolution. Yeah. It's a transition. Um, transformation. Yeah. Transition. Both of those. All right. Now, what we need to do is we need to come up with a very short sentence that kind of synthesizes this. You don't have to be too selective because I will be making sure that all of this gets in. Okay. So let's start with something like I am or I love or I, you know, something that is present and process, right? Rather than it being a fixed thing, right? Like, um, I have a successful business. It's something like, I am, right? I, even I am becoming more. I am becoming more successful. I am, you know, um, I love my, you know, I mean, you tell me. Um, I am. Um, hmm. uh, there's so much, so many places I could go. I know. Well, don't worry about it because I'm going to be making okay. sure all this gets in. Um, so. Okay. Um, I am growing into myself. Mm. Um, and I transforming. love Transforming. I am. I love that line. I'm growing into myself. Yeah. When you say that to yourself, how does it feel? It feels it feels good actually. Yeah, it does feel good. Yeah, but I'm having visuals of the plant, so that's kind of weird. Of plants? <laughs> well, the plant growing. Oh, into okay. Myself, so. so I'm. I am. Um, so we we keep working. Let's keep working. Um, I. It's so hard. I'm very visual. It's hard for me. I'm already like trancing out. Mm -hmm. It's just becoming more and more difficult for me to put this into So words. how about I am um, expanding? Mm, I'm expanding. Um, I'm expanding into a more successful version of myself. Mm. I'm expanding into... That's okay. This is the this is the work, by the way. Could you use as I become as a starter as well as I am? You you could use it. It it doesn't seem to have as much strength. Right. Right. So, I am, even I am loving, you know, my new career. Right. I am becoming who I'm meant to be, right? Yeah. I, am I, am be I am becoming my the, true self. I am becoming... I am becoming the version of me that has always been deep inside. Okay, so I am, so... It's definitely a sense of transformation, so... Okay, I am I'm transforming... Moving into my, my real self. That's, what, that's how it feels, mm -hmm. yeah. So... Does it have to be specific? No, no. I am transforming. I, can't, I don't feel like I can say I am blah, blah, blah to a hypnotherapist or whatever because it might not take that shape. It might, I don't know what that Right, so I am be. transforming into my true self. Right. You keep saying that, right? Yeah. How does it feel when you say that? It feels really good. Really good. Okay, that's what we're looking for. You see that? I am transforming into myself, my true self. 
All right. So here's how it works. Okay. And normally I get closer, but I'm feeling a little sore throat. So I am going to be overly protective of you. And I'm actually going to do this. Forgive me. Um, so we're going to both, I forgot I had a microphone on. I'm like, what the hell? We're going to both go into trance together. And that's why you're going to need to, you know, listen. Because she's going to go into <laughs> trance, and I'm joining her, and our voices might get low. Now, the way this works, um, we're going to do a little bit of breathing together so that we can get kind of in sync. Then you're going to say one word per breath. Now, we can, it doesn't have to be, so it could be something like, I and transforming into my or even my true self. So we're going to find that nice kind of rhythm, one word per breath, and I join you in between. Okay. It's going to be good. Now, it doesn't even matter if you start to, like, forget words, whatever. It, it, this shit is all made up. <laughs> so we take a deep breath in together. We exhale twice as long. Another one. And exhale twice as long. And now keeping your eyes closed, you're going to start one word per breath. The sentence is, I am transforming into my true self. Hi. That's right. You are. Um. Growing. Transforming. That's right into what you want to do. Into. That's right. Who you want to be. My. New career. New chapter. True. That's right. Who you really are. So. And keep going. We're going to loop this around. You are um, on your way to becoming transforming who you really want to be into accomplishment, a sense of recognition. My. That's right. Who you really are. True. That's right. Learning. Keep going, moving forward. I you are am getting happy, doing what you love, transforming into your whole self, into keeping things my interesting, learning, true transformation. That's right. Keep going. I. You are. Am. Transitioning into who you really are. Transforming. Into new career. The into apex. Everything up to now. My. Still counts. That's right. Career. Self. Keep going again. I. You are. Am. All ready. Transforming. Learning. Integrating. Finding new ways. Into. Building. A brand new career. My. That's right. New chapter. New. That's right. Self. 
Now repeat it in your mind as you go a little deeper inside. And as Erickson would say, my voice will go with you. And allow your unconscious to show you a vision of you having transformed successful business, loving your new life and career. And as you sleep, as you fall asleep each night, you'll loop this around a couple of times, remembering who you really are becoming. And you'll feel yourself wanting to stretch and wiggling your fingers, your toes, because you are transforming into your true self. Smile. That's right. And open your eyes. It's a good one, isn't it's it? It's a good one, yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Just doing the words is like, it's already trans-inducing once you start to bring the words out. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So that is this process. And it's fun. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. Now, how much time do we have? Oh, yeah, we got some time. So you're going to get together. Now, remember, they'll come in with a goal. Right? I mean, I have clients, they're like, I want to lose 30 pounds in three months. And I'm like, what will that do for you? Oh, it'll make me feel confident and great. And what will that do for you? I'll feel fulfilled. I'll feel whole. And then by the time we get to the sentence, it has like totally transformed. Because the truth is, what you have to understand is, once she truly owns this, then all the other stuff comes with it. You know what I mean? What's really important about the goal is what's going to resonate. What's really important about losing weight is that you'll feel confident. You'll connect with people more. You'll feel good about who you are. You'll, you know what I mean? Like all of these things are far more important. <coughs> all right, get together. So that was good, wasn't it? Yeah. And this is, you know, sorry. This is one of those, it's a fantastic way to wrap up everything you've been doing with the meta pattern and the conversational change. You've already gotten how they want to be instead. You've gotten a lot. Now sometimes you do something that is, you know, like what we did, which has enough space in it that it can just be your mantra for a while. Sometimes you can use this as, um, from session to session, doing like action steps. You know, what's the next smallest step you can take? And then they'll be looping that around. Sometimes it just becomes their self-hypnosis um, affirmation almost. So there's a lot of flexibility in this, but it feels good, doesn't it? It really is like a double induction with your client. Yeah, so any questions about that? Yeah. Would you, before you started, would you check to see how strongly they believe the identity statement and if it's going to strong enough map across, or is that not even a consideration? So the question is, would I check to see how strongly they believe it? And if they didn't, would I do something like a map across, right, a belief change pattern? Um, typically not, and I'll tell you why. All of the work is in building up that sentence because what I'm tracking the whole time is what's lighting them up. 
That's why when they come in with a, you know, I want to do X, Y, Z, you've got to dig, right? What will that do for you? Why do you really want it? How will you know you've achieved it? What will be different in your life? These are, this is where if it's going to fall apart, it's going to fall apart. Okay. By the time you get the sentence, you're just pulling at the best of the best of their hot words. And then you say, say that to yourself. How does it feel? You, you see what I'm, does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So um, I have a question about like the language the client uses. So I was, you know, they were like, oh, I'm committed to, or I need to, and I was like, stop, let's turn it into an I am helping people instead of I am committed to helping people. I don't sure. know if that's really something to. Well, it, you know, you have to be aware of your preferences. Mm -hmm. So for some people, the word committed feels good. Mm -hmm. I'm committed to this. It, it, it has integrity to it. And it, it, it shows a conviction. To some people, committed feels like hard work, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really up to the client. Now, if they say, I need to, you're right. That, that sounds like something that we say to ourselves when we're not doing shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, like me, right? I need to be taking better care of myself tonight. You just so set yourself <laughs> up for that. Yeah. Why? Why would you? Because that's stupid. And that's what we do sometimes. So I would challenge, I would say, well, what, if, you, if you were doing it, you didn't need to do it because you were already doing it, how would you feel? And that's where you're going to get. So it doesn't necessarily have to be I am. It could be I love or I enjoy or I'm embracing my new. You know, all of these are action. They're process oriented and they're present tense. So it's just, I guess, how they, when they say it, I need or I'm committed to something. It's just like, I'll right, yes. say it without the committed and then see what their reaction is. It's like, right. But, I, what, but I'm, what I'm trying to say to you, honey, mm -hmm. is that your hang up is on the word committed? Well, it's the reaction to the word committed. Okay, well that's different. So if they have an internal state or an external uh, indication of an internal state where they're getting hitched up on that, then you're right. Then I would say, okay, and if you were, what would that be like? You don't necessarily have to say, say that sentence without committed. You're just gonna flesh it out to get even better words. Perfect. Yeah. So, you ever get a situation where, you know, I kind of feel like the way you're helping them to sort of manifest this goal, that you're kind of like partnering with them in it. You ever get somebody like, ask for something that you really don't want to help them make happen? Like, kind of, ooh, maybe I shouldn't facilitate that so much? <laughs> Once again, it's really hard to keep our shit out of other people's stuff, right? Yeah, so right. I hear you, and actually there was, there was a client whose goal was, I just couldn't, I couldn't, bring the right energy to it because her goal was to you know recommit to a marriage where you know her husband had uh, two other kids with someone else and she just found out and I'm like what <laughs> you know, so all my stuff got all I'm like where that's dumb what 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 do you want <laughs> I just feel like if I really want to make this work I'm like and I knew right in that moment that I was not the practitioner for her. Okay. And I said it. I said, you know what? I gotta be perfectly honest. I think you're fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and so I am not the one that's going to help you to achieve this because I can't seem to get my own stuff out of the way. So, <laughs> so here's three other people and let's see if they can get their shit out of the way to help you get some fucked up gold <laughs> <laughs> the new Melissa Tears book. <laughs> <laughs> but I can only be honest. And it's only happened a, f a few times. But that woman comes to mind. I just couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Can you say I'm ready or is that not good enough? Is that strong enough? How does it feel when you say I'm ready? I'm ready to, yeah. I like that. To me, that's great. I'm, I'm ready. So it, do, do you see what I mean? It's about how it feels to the client. 
There's certain words I wouldn't choose, but it's not about me. All right, everybody, feet flat on the floor. I want you to pretend to go into trance. <laughs> That's right, pretend. Close your eyes. If you were pretending, I wonder how that would feel. Some people, when they pretend to go into trance, they remember. They remember a nice, deep trance. And they pretend to go into that one. So they pretend that their arms and legs feel the way they feel when you're going into trance. Some people pretend by imagining that they're going into that trance that they've seen someone go into, maybe even on TV. And you'll see some people pretend by putting their heads down or flopping their arms down. That's how they pretend. I want you to pretend that every breath takes you deeper. And as you're pretending and learning, using your imagination to play, you might be surprised how powerful pretending can be. You might be surprised how playing and getting curious, imagining and pretending can begin to transform your learning processes inside while you're pretending to go even deeper. And you know that tonight you'll sleep, you'll dream, you'll dream dreams of integration, because that's how your brain learns as you sleep. You've learned a lot today, a lot more than you think consciously, your unconscious, processing inside on many levels at once. Pretend to go a little deeper still. And you just might be surprised at how much you're learning already inside. So, you'll have a wonderful night. Now you can pretend to come out of trance. That's right. Put your